How are you guys? You little bookworms ready to read this story? It is called The Easter Egg Farm and it's written and illustrated by Mary Jane Osh. I think I pronounced that right. I think it's French or German. But anyways, thank you Mary Jane for this great book. And reading with us our special mystery guest. It's not just eggs. What could it be? Oh, look who's reading with us. Isn't she fancy? Look how pretty she is with all her dots. Alright, let's get started. You guys ready? The Easter Egg Farm. Alright. Pauline lived in Mrs. Pennyworth's hen house with four other hens. Each day, Mrs. Pennyworth collected the eggs. Only four eggs again today, she asked. Somebody ain't doing her job. Are you all trying? The hens clucked. Well, try harder. I want five eggs tomorrow. Concentrate. Pauline was embarrassed. She was the one not laying an egg. Every time she tried, the other hens squabbled. Pauline couldn't concentrate in all the confusion. Pauline is lazy, one hen clucked. I'm not lazy, Pauline said. I'm just different. She turned her back on the others and concentrated very hard. Finally, a wonderful thing happened. Can you see this? Pauline stepped back to look at the egg in her nest. It wasn't like the other eggs, but Pauline thought it was beautiful. <gasps> Get a load of this, another hen cackled. Pauline just laid the world's ugliest egg. It's not ugly, said Pauline. It's just, it's just different. But Pauline began to feel ashamed of her egg. She nudged it under the straw with her beak. Aww. The harder Pauline tried to lay a normal egg, the stranger her eggs got. She hid each one of them, but not before the other hens had seen them and made fun of her. Are you guys noticing anything about these eggs? Look. They look similar to different things, right? Whatever she's looking at, the eggs look very similar to that. Okay. When Pauline couldn't stand the teasing any longer, she made herself a nest outdoors. She stared at the sky, concentrating very hard. This time her egg came out blue with clouds. But before Pauline could hide the egg, someone saw it, Mrs. Pennywort. Pauline! What a lovely egg, she said, holding it up to the sunshine. This is too unusual to crack open for my breakfast. I'll put it in my windowsill where everybody can enjoy it. Let's see what's going on here. The next day, Pauline laid an egg that was even more unusual. Mrs. Pennywort was delighted. Can you make more eggs like this? Then Mrs. Pennywort noticed the ladybug on a blade of grass right in front of Pauline. Hey, I get it. The egg comes out looking like whatever you see, right? <laughs> Um, Pauline blinked. She wasn't quite sure how it worked herself. This is fantastic, Miss Pennywort said. Come into the house with me. We'll see what kinds of eggs you lay there. Pauline loved being inside. There were lots of pretty things to look at. In her new surroundings, Pauline became quite creative. Soon, her unusual eggs lined the windowsills of Miss Pennywort's house. Look, see the eggs? They're like decorative eggs in her house. Let's see what's going on here. One day, a lady appeared at the window. Are these lovely Easter eggs for sale? I need one for every child in the town. They're for the annual Easter egg hunt. No problem. We can lay that many eggs, can't we, Pauline? We, thought Pauline. She'd never seen Miss Pennywort lay an egg, so she knew it was up to her. Laying eggs for the Easter egg hunt would be an honor. She clucked happily. Come back for your eggs the night before Easter, said Mrs. Pennywort. Look at all the eggs. 
Oh, this is cute. Oh my, look, she's bringing her to the museum. Pauline was excited. She started laying two eggs a day, then three, then four. Mrs. Pennywort began taking Pauline on field trips for inspiration. The first week, they went to the art museum. Look at her eggs. She laid an egg that looks like the Mona Lisa. That is so funny. And all the other eggs. The second week, they went to the ballet. Pauline was so thrilled by the music and dancing, she laid more eggs than ever when they got home. So she saw the ballerinas up there, and she came home and laid ballerina eggs. Finally, it was the day before Easter. The egg lady will be here tonight, said Mrs. Pennywort. I'd better start packing up the eggs. She lifted an egg from the windowsill. <gasps> Oh, there's a crack in this shell. Mrs. Pennywort ran to another window. Pauline, some of the eggs are hatching. We shouldn't have left them in the sunshine. Soon, baby chicks were popping out all over the sunny side of the house. Stay in there, Miss Pennywort shouted at the unhatched chicks. You're ruining the eggs. But the chicks didn't listen. They just kept hatching and hatching. <laughs> oh, no. Mrs. Pennywort took the broken shells to the table and frantically tried to glue them together. It's no use. I was never any good at craft projects. Oh no, she can't glue them together. Uh-oh, just then there was a knock at the door. Yoo-hoo, called the egg lady. I'm here for the Easter eggs. Do I have a deal for you, cried Mrs. Pennywort. How would you like Easter chicks instead of eggs. Terrific, the egg lady said as bright colored chicks scurried around her. Easter chicks are even better than Easter eggs. Mrs. Pennywort helped the egg lady gather up the chicks, but as fast as they were as they were popped into a basket, the chicks jumped out again. Mrs. Pennywort heard a clucking noise and she looked up. Mm -hmm. Pauline was fluffed up to twice her normal size. She spread her wings like an umbrella, protecting the chicks who raced toward her. Oh, Pauline, said Mrs. Pennywort. Of course we can't give away the chicks. They're your babies. But, but what about the Easter egg hunt, the lady asked. The eggs on the shady side of the house didn't hatch yet, Mrs. Pennywort said. You can take those. Aww. Pauline kept all of her babies. She loved being a mother. Every day she took her chicks for a walk, showing them the beautiful things all around the farm. Look there. A monarch butterfly and flowers. Oh, look at the chicks. The chicks' grown up feathers started to come in. These chicks sure are different, said Miss Pennywort. Pauline clucked proudly. Look how pretty they are. They're all different colors. Beautiful. And look at their eggs. Wow, look at them. Soon, Pauline's daughters were laying their own eggs. They took turns in the nest box, laying eggs of every color and every design. Children from miles around came to see the unusual eggs and chickens. Mrs. Pennywort's farm became known as the Easter Egg Farm. Oh my gosh, that is so neat, isn't it? That would be a fun place to visit. Pauline still lives on the Easter egg farm, but she doesn't lay as many eggs as she used to. Now, whenever she feels an egg coming on, Pauline closes her eyes. She doesn't concentrate on anything. Then she lays a perfectly ordinary, plain white egg just to be different. <laughs> oh, I love this book. That was cute. 
Oh, look, there's the monarch butterfly egg right there. And the flower egg. Oh, and she lays her white egg just to be different. What do you think? Does that look like Pauline? With all her eggs? I like that bright blue shiny one. Which one's your favorite? <laughs> well, thank you so much for reading with us. I hope you guys like the Easter egg farm. And a big thanks again to Mary Jane for writing this awesome book. Alright guys, bye-bye. Come read again soon. Bye!